let's dive into Fluent Forms one of the most requested features, Admin Approval. This super cool feature grants you the flexibility to either accept or decline a form submission while receiving it, and it's directly from your email. So, let's kickstart the process. From Fluent Forms integration page, let's activate this brand new admin approval module. Now, if you take a look at the global settings of Fluent Forms, you will see some basic customization options for admin approval. First things first, how do you want to send the approval email? Either it can be your site email or maybe you want to set a custom email for that. Choose one that fits you perfectly. And here comes the email subject and body part. This is a rich text field, so you have plenty of options to write your customized email. You can either set custom links with pre-made shortcodes to your email body or maybe highlight any text. It's all easy as pie. But for now, the default email is good to go. There is more to play with. Want to send emails in raw HTML format? Or need a feature that will automatically delete unapproved submissions when the specified time exceeds? It's there for you. That's all in the global settings. Let's hit save and see how it works in the forum. So, here is the basic registration form that I have created. By the way, admin approval feature works in all types of form, whether it's job application form or post CPT form or any conversational style form that is made by Fluent Forms. Now, if you go to the settings and integration section, you will find the admin approval settings. Of course, you have to enable it. Now, what this feature does is when someone submits the form, he or she will immediately receive this message. So, it's more like your form submission status. You can customize it though. Okay, let's see what happens when a submission is declined from admin. Fluent Forms can send an automated decline message in that case. For that, you have to select the user email field here, then compose the declined email. By the way, this email is coming from user input, so make sure you enable email validation in your form. Otherwise, email will not be sent in user inbox and they will not get any email. So, always keep email validation on or set double opt-in as email leads are important. Oh, you can also disable declined email notification for logged in user as their emails are already onboarded. Okay, let's save the settings and admin approval is all set in the form. Let's copy the form short code and see if it works on the front end. Here it is. Let's review the page. Filling up the form with some random text inputs and the real user email that is open in my phone so that I can check if I get any email after submission. And yes, submitted. Here is the pending message. So far, so good. Okay, let's check what happens in the other side. Here you go. This was the custom admin email logged into my other browser which was added at the beginning of this video. And yes, the admin got the approval email notification directly in his mail. He can either approve it or decline it. Let's see what happens if the admin declines it. Cool, the admin is redirected to the form entries and the submission data is already marked as declined. This is sleek. Oh wow, the user email has already got the declined email. That's a neat job admin approval feature has just done. A quick FYI, in case you see any error while sending emails, or if email doesn't go, that means your website is missing a good SMTP setup. So, make sure you have Fluent SMTP installed in your site or any other email service providers should work. Let's wrap things up. That's all inside Fluent Forms admin approval module. By the way, if your form includes any payment field, the admin approval process will be skipped automatically for now, as payment managements are handled directly inside the form. Hope Fluent Forms developers will march payment management in admin approval in future. That's all. Hit subscribe to see you in next videos. Until then, happy form building!